Sri Guru Bio Namaha. This is Lata here again to start with the fourth chapter planning. What is planning? Planning is deciding in advance what to do and how to do it. Thus, planning is related to deciding in advance what and how aspects of an action. What aspects involves a kind of action to be undertaken and how aspects involves the types of measures to be undertaken to complete the action. Both these are important for effective organizational working in future. So, planning aims at bridging the gap between where we are at present and where we want to go in future. The planning has to find the answers for the questions where, when, how, what, who and why and the most important aspects as we discussed is your what and how aspect. Next topic is your concept of planning. All business firms would like to be successful, wanted to increase the sales and earn profit. All managers dream of these and strive to achieve the goals. But to turn these dreams into reality, managers need to work hard in thinking about the future in making possible business predictions and achieving targets. Dreams can be turned into reality only if business managers think in advance what to do and how to do. This is the essence of planning. It is concerned with both ends and means. That is what is to be done and how is to be done. Before doing something, the manager must formulate an idea of how to work on a particular task. Thus, planning is closely connected with creativity and innovation. Planning involves setting objectives and targets, developing appropriate courses of action to achieve them. It also requires taking decisions since it involves making a choice from alternative courses of action. The plan that is developed has to be given a time frame, but time is a limited resource. It needs to be utilized judicially. If time factor is not taken into consideration, conditions in the environment may change and all plans may go waste. Planning becomes useless if it is not acted upon or implemented on time. So we can define planning as setting objectives for a given period, formulating various courses of action to achieve them and then selecting the best possible alternative from among the various courses of action available. We will move on to the next topic is your features of planning. We will start with the first one. Planning is goal oriented. Second, planning is persuasive. Third, planning is a continuous activity. Fourth, planning is an intellectual process. Fifth, Planning is futuristic. Sixth, planning is decision making. And the last one is planning is managerial function. We will start with the first feature. Planning is a goal oriented process. Planning starts with the determination of objectives. We cannot do any planning in the absence of objectives. Specific goals are set out in the plans along with the activities to be undertaken to achieve the goals. Planning will become useless task unless it does not positively contribute to the achievement of predetermined organizational goals. Once the objectives are decided, then manager decides the methods, procedures and steps to be undertaken for achievement of the goals. Second, planning is a primary function of management. Planning provides the basis of all other functions of management. We have already discussed in the previous chapters that organizing, staffing, directing and controlling are the important functions of management. All these functions are performed within the framework of the plan drawn. The framework of the plan will decide upon your other activities to be carried on. Planning presides other functions, so we refer planning as prime function. Third, planning is required at all levels. 
planning is required at all levels of management as well as in all departments of the organizations. It is not an exclusive function of top management. Planning is what managers at all levels have to do. Top management undertakes the planning for the whole organization. Middle management does departmental planning. Low level takes up the day-to-day -day operational planning. We'll, re we'll, re we'll recap with the same. Top management is concerned with the whole planning of the whole organization. Middle management is concerned with departmental planning. And the lower level is concerned with day-to-day -day operational planning. Fourth one, planning is continuous. Planning is an ongoing process. Plans are formulated for a specific period time. Say for example, it can be for a 6 months, 1 year or it can be for a 2 years. At the end of that period, new plans have to be prepared on the basis of new demands and conditions. Also, as condition changes, the plans have to be revised. Thus, planning is a continuous process. Fifth one, planning is futuristic or looking ahead. Planning means looking ahead and preparing for the future. Aim of planning is to meet future events effectively to the best advantages of an organization. Therefore, planning is considered as a forward-looking function based on forecasting. Children, what do you mean by forecasting? Forecasting means predicting the future events and making provisions for it. Sixth plan, steps in your planning is or your future is your planning involves decision making. Planning involves choice from among various alternatives. If there is only one way of doing something, then there is no need for planning as there is no choice. So the need for planning arises only when alternatives are available. A manager, after examining and evaluating the various alternatives, select the best one. Say for example, if a firm has to import raw materials and, then, and if there is only one agency like state trade corporation, then the a company has to get it from it and it has no choice. But if the raw materials can be obtained freely, and there is no restriction and you find there are more than one import agency, then the importer has a choice to purchase from any agency at competitive prices. Last feature, planning is a mental exercise. Planning is thinking rather than doing function of management. It requires the application of the mind, involving foresight, vision, intelligent imagination and sound judgment. What are things required? It requires a mind application where it involves foresight, vision, intelligent imagination and sound judgment. The quality of planning will vary according to the quality of mind of the manager. Planning is not a mere guesswork but involves logical and scientific and systematic thinking. Planning is closely connected with creativity and innovation. Children, shall we recap with the headings of the features of planning? Planning is goal oriented. Planning is required at all levels. Planning is a continuous activity. Planning is an intellectual process. Planning is looking forward. Planning is required in decision making. Planning is a mental exercise. Children, we will end this session with the features of planning. We will take up the next session with a new topic. Thank you.